नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस यर सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिसीज मैनेजमेंट दैट प्रिंसिपल इज एक्सक्लूजन ऑफ प्लांट पैथोजन एक्सक्लूजन मीन्स अवॉइड द एंट्री ऑफ पैथोजन इन द एरिया और इन द लोकेलिटी वेयर दैट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू एक्सक्लूड दैट एरिया और दैट लोकेलिटी फ्रॉम द एंट्री ऑफ पैथोजन दिस एक्सक्लूजन कैन बी अचीव्ड बाय द different methods that methods are seed treatment seed inspection seed certification and plant quarantines that methods are used for the exclusion of pathogen within that first technique is seed inspection inspection and certification in that seed plot or grown crop for the seed purpose is inspected or observed periodically with the regular interval for the presence or absence of disease that crop is observed and whatever the diseased plants or infected plants or plant materials that are collected and destroyed by taking special care without damaging the healthy one that means roging of infected plants and plant material is takes place and that plot is kept disease free this practice will helpful to maintain the disease inoculum free from the seed plot it will helpful to give the disease free seed stock and then that seed plot is certified at disease free seed plot then second method for the exclusion principle is plant quarantine plant quarantine is rules and regulations or legal legislation legal legislations made for the movement of agricultural commodities from one place to another place from one country to another country or within the same country some rules and regulations or legislative measures are applied for avoiding the entry of pathogen in the area or in the locality where that is already absent some quarantine laws are made by different countries in world first time in 1660 france made the plant quarantine in denmark it was made by government in 1903 in usa it was applied in 1912 these rules were aimed at the rapid destruction or eradication of barb barberry bushes which is an almost alternate host for the pakshinia graministritis that is your stem rust in india plant quarantine rules and regulations were issued under the destructive insect and pest act that is dipa was established in 1914 In India, sixteen plant quarantine stations are opened per the directives of the Plant Protection, that Ministry of Food and Agricultural, Government of India. That plant quarantines are of three types. That three types are domestic quarantines, then after international quarantines, and total embargoes. Domestic quarantines. that are the rules and regulations or rules and legislations made for the movement of agricultural commodity from one state to another state within the country some important diseases controlled by the domestic quarantines are given below bunch it up of banana banana mosaic disease and wart of potato bunch top of banana present in kerala assam bihar west bengal and orissa it was stopped in spreading in another state of the india by prohibiting the transport of banana seedlings and suckers from this country these states in banana mosaic in maharashtra and gujarat transport of musa species in excluding the fruits is prohibited from these states to other states in india that is mosaic of banana for that uh, regulations are made for the import and export of seed material 
planting material that is seedlings and tubers suckers from maharashtra and gujarat to other states in india in wart of potato in the darjeeling of the west bengal that are prohibited that wart of potato disease was present in the west bengal that was he prohibited for the transport from here to other part of the nation then forage in quarantine that is the international quarantine rules and re regulations or issues are made for prohibiting the import and export of agricultural commodity plant materials insect fungi into india from foreign countries by the air sea or land ways foreign in quarantines foreign quarantine rules may be generally or specific general rules same set the prevention of introduction of pathogen in the area where that is already absent <clears throat> some airports and seaports land ports are given for the quarantine rules in the transport of agricultural commodity through the airways that are checked on the airports such as bombay kolkata madras new delhi and <coughs> tirumulachari then transport of agricultural commodities from one nation to another nation by the way of sea or ocean that are checked at bombay kolkata visakhapatnam trivandrum madras cochin likewise then some land ports are there for the checking of different diseases in import and export of the agricultural commodity through the land ways or roadways that are checked at different spaces in punjab as purazapur district then amritsar in punjab and sukhya puri da in darjeeling of the west bengal then total embargoes that are the total restrictions made for agricultural commodity from one country to another country that commodity is totally restricted for the transport import and export totally without phytosanitary certificate with the giving the phytosanitary certificate that commodity is made easy for the transport or export and import total embargo totally stop the movement of that commodity that will helpful for the restriction of disease some different examples are given here for the diseases which are introduced from different state different countries to the india late blight of potato was introduced in india from europe in 1883 copy rust from sri lanka it was imported in 1879 in india flax mud of wheat from australia in 1906 downy mildew of grape was imported in india from european country in 1910 argot of bajra from africa it was imported in india in 1957 before that <clears throat> there is no restrictions for import and export these examples are given then we will discuss the next principle that is the eradication eradication these methods aims to breaking the infection chain of removing the possibility of the infection or starvation of the pathogen that means pathogen is eliminated where that is present or well established by using different methods or different techniques the different methods or different techniques are roguing roguing means removal of diseased plants and their affected organs from field which prevent the dissemination of pathogen loose mud of wheat or barley whip tail mud of sugar cane red rot of sugar cane or got of bajra such type of diseases can be eradicated by collection and destruction of infected plant part in 1927 to 35 
most infected canker disease in the USA was rogued out near about three hundred three million trees of the citrus was cut down and burnt with the infection of canker that helps in the controlling the ro in he, helps in controlling the citrus canker disease then second uh, method for the eradication is eradication of alternate and collateral host eradication of alternate and collateral host will helpful for the movement of many plant diseases barbary eradication program in france and usa reduces the severity of black stem rust of wheat eradication of thalactum species in usa to manage the leaf rust of the wheat caused by the puccinia recondita then crop rotation continuous cultivation of the same crop in the same field that will he helps in the pre pre precaution pre uh, perpetuation of the pathogen in the soil that soil which saturated by the pathogen are often referred as an sick soil continuous cultivation of the same crop on the same field that soil will become sick soil and will cause more more pathogen present in the soil to reduce the incidence and severity many soil borne diseases can be controlled by the crop rotation practice method crop rotation is applicable to only root inhibitants or root inhibitant diseases uh, examples are given here panama wilt of the banana that will be controlled by the long rotation of the crop soil with the different crops other than banana then wheat mosaic can be controlled by the application of crop rotation practice of 6 year then club root of cabbage that will be controlled by the crop rotation practice up to 6 to 10 years then next method for the eradication is crop sanitization collection and destruction of plant debris from the soil will help in the management of soil born facultative saprophytes as the most of the these survives in the plant debris infected plant debris or plant parts collected and destroyed from the soil that will reduce the primary source of inoculum in the field in manure and fertilizer application that manure and fertilizer application will helpful for the management of the crop vigority when deficiency or excess nutrients will be there that will leads to the different diseases then mixed cropping mixed cropping will helpful for the management of different diseases root rot of cotton that will be controlled or reduced by cultivation of cotton with the sorghum that is rhizoctonia botanicola that will be reduced by cultivating that cotton crop with the sorghum then summer plowing plowing in the soil during the summer season or summer month expose the soil to the hot weather that will helpful for the killing the soil borne diseases the next method for the eradication is soil amendment application of different organic and inorganic amendments in the soil that will helpful to maintain the soil structure and structure also helpful to reduce the different types of soil borne diseases that will increases the beneficial organism in the soil and that will reduce the diseases example take an example of saw dust saw straw oil cakes extract etc will effectively manage the different diseases caused by pythium phytophthora verticillium macrophomena and phytophthora application of lime that is 2500 kg per hectare will reduces the club root of cabbage that will increases the soil ph up to 8.5 that increase in ph will reduce the club root of cabbage 
then change in the sowing time will helpful for the eradication of pathogen pathogens are able to infect when the susceptible plants are under certain environmental <coughs> conditions alteration of date of sowing can help to avoid avoidance of the favorable conditions for the pathogen example rice blast can be managed by the changing pl planting season june to september october then seed rate and plant density close facing rise to atmospheric humidity and favors the sporulation of many pathogenic fungi passing of 8 by 8 instead of 7 by 7 reduces the cigotoka disease of the banana due to better ventilation and reduces the humidity when you reduces the population of the plant or crowding of the plant automatically disease density or disease intensity that will be reduces then irrigation and drainage the amount of frequency uh, and method of irrigation may affect the dissemination of certain plant pathogens many pathogens including pseudomonas solanaceram xanthomonas campestris oryge colletricum falcatum and are rapidly disseminated through the irrigation water high soil moisture favors the root knot nematodes and root rot causing by this various species of the sclerosia rhizoctonia and fusaria such type of different practices can be applied for the management of eradication of pathogen and exclusion of pathogen